Hey there! On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming releases for Marvel Crisis Protocol, as well as some speculation about the upcoming ones and what those release windows look like. My name is Nate, and welcome to the Gamers Guild. So, first I want to cover what we know will be coming out and when it is coming out, followed by some speculation and thoughts on the release schedule. That being said, we know from a leak on September 13th that quickly became an official announcement from AMG that the core set will be releasing in November alongside the Hulk and Modoc expansions, the NYC terrain pack, dice, and extra measuring tools. If you weren't quite sure what to get when the game first comes out, check out my video from last week. It gives a quick breakdown on what to get for you or your playgroup at launch. I'll throw a link down in the description below. Anyways, while we do not have an exact date yet, we can safely rule out Thanksgiving week as the release, so we can narrow it down to about a three week window. Then, in December, we will have a Black Panther and Killmonger, Shuri and Okoye, and the model I'm most excited about, Venom. From here is more speculation than not. Uh, thanks to the distributors, we at least know the product numbers of the models that are, uh, got shown off at Gen Con and gives us a pretty good picture of what is to come. Now, if they hold true to the pattern of about three releases a month, uh, everything else plays out really nicely. <clears throat> In January, we would get Miles and Spider-Gwen uh, alongside a Thor and Valkyrie pack and a Loki and Hela pack. February would then be the Winter Soldier alongside Vision. We would get Dallas's Dump Truck, and then the duo of Corvus Glade and Proxima Midnight. March will then bring us the Guardians of the Galaxy with a duo pack of Groot and Rocket, the sisters Gamora and Nebula, and Star-Lord as a standalone. Most of these months line up really well with each other in the groups of three. If they started doing two a month, that would split up the Asgardians and the Guardians of the Galaxy, which just doesn't really make sense, and so it would be a little bit awkward. So, what does that mean for us? One, that we'll at least have five affiliations within the first four months of the game. The Avengers, Cabal, and Wakanda are all confirmed, but it would only make sense for the Asgardians to get one, as well as the Guardians of the Galaxy. And maybe, if we're lucky, we might even see one for the Spider-Verse. Uh, two, for me, that I need to start budgeting, or at least planning on which expansions that may have to go on a birthday list, because I cannot afford them all right at the get-go. And then three, that the painting queue is going to be very doable. After the starter, only four to six models a month should be really easy to stay on top of, and gives us a little bit of time back to either get more games in, or work on some of those dynamic boards to play on. So, do you think I'm right, or maybe just a little crazy? Feel free to let me know. Also feel free to hit that subscribe button, the bell, and any of the other buttons down there, except with the one that uh, has the thumb pointing down. We don't really like that one. Anyways, until next time, keep on gaming.